So, wedding speeches. Some people love them, some people hate them. Let's talk about them. Hi, I'm Ryan and I'm the lead videographer at Aperture Lane and this is a segment called Wednesday Wisdom where I share tidbits to help you have a great experience with your wedding media. So, there is a deeper meaning to speeches. You know, sometimes we do a lot of things at weddings or at events and we just do them just because that's just what we do. And we don't necessarily appreciate why they're done. And I'm all for breaking the mold and doing things differently. But I feel like speeches are, speeches are good because one, think about it, lots of people in your life are coming from different backgrounds, they're coming from your work, your church, your, you know, your community, your childhood, and so all these people have different parts of the puzzle. And so when you have speeches, usually, you know, like th those puzzle pieces get, you know, linked together. And, you know, thinking about people who don't know each other and they're kind of chilling at the table together, speeches tend to bring people together because now they have a common ground, you know, they have you know, inside jokes that now we are sharing from Napoleon that they can share with each other. And there's something about the camaraderie that speeches can build in a crowd of people who don't necessarily know each other or who know of each other. And I would suggest not cutting them out. I know I know some people are like, nah, we don't want speeches. And some people are like, we want 50 speeches. Yeah, you know, maybe not 50, but you know, a good number of speeches from a solid, um, roster of people can really bring the room together and uh, really make people feel like they're a part of one family which they are so consider having um, a solid bunch of speeches at your wedding hope that helps talk to you soon bye for more tips like these check out my wedding media guide link in the bio or video description